Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's April 16th, 2019. I'm over in the work area where we do all our seed starting and all. I just turned off all the circulation fans right now so that you could, I could record this video. And today I just wanted to give you a quick update on the Growing Sweet Potato series. So February 27th is when we first took our organic sweet potatoes were picked up in a grocery store and we placed them in some soilless mixture and then we posted a couple of videos following up. We did have some disease and some uh, storage disease in bacterial uh, related storage disease in some of the sweet potatoes which were removed. Then in a subsequent video I went ahead and moved the sweet potatoes into our living room where they could get some southern exposure, took them off the heat mat and today, I, th I well, uh, several days ago, probably about five days ago, it's things have been crazy around here, I took the sweet potatoes, brought them over into the work area here. The work area is pretty warm now. It's 67 degrees uh, Fahrenheit in here with all the LED lights on and all and the de uh, dehumidifier on. And uh, so I decided to bring the sweet potatoes over here since the, uh, since the vines of the sweet potatoes had gotten probably about three feet long. And, uh, and there were multiple vines. So what I ended up doing was taking those two trays um, and putting one tray per stand. These are four foot wide stands. And uh, putting an extra tray right next to them and laying the vines that were hanging off into midair on the surface of another soilless mixture uh, tray. So basically there's uh, the original tray and then there's another tray laying right alongside of it with the soilless mixture in it. I uh, moistened the soilless mixture just like I've been watering uh, the soilless mixture where the sweet potato has been sitting. And, uh, and of course when I laid all the vines down some of the leaves were upside down at that point. So I waited about almost 48 hours for all the leaves to upright themselves. And then I took additional soilless mixture and I covered up a lot of the vines. Yes, it did cover up some of the leaves as well. But uh, there's each one of those uh, nodes where the leaves come out, there's uh, locations. Those nodes have those stem cells, so we, like we talked about in some of the uh, hardwood cutting uh, videos. And those nodes have, have the, the ability to uh, differentiate, to de-differentiate from leaf production to going ahead and starting with some adventitious roots. So by putting the soilless mixture on the surface of these vines as they come around, what's going to happen is we're going to encourage rooting along the lengths of this vines. Uh, and one of the reasons I'm doing it this way at this point is to see with this technique how how much uh, new growth can I get from additional roots coming from the vines along the way without me doing extra work? Ultimately, what I usually end up doing is doing uh, cuttings and taking the sweet potato slips and putting them in the perlite mixture and, uh, and then growing them out uh, to getting the roots on them and then transplanting them into the field. Well, we've still got you know, over a month before our climate here is going to be uh, acceptable, conducive to the transplants for these warm loving, so warm soil requiring sweet potato uh, varieties. So we don't want to get these into the ground much before Memorial Day. So we still got, uh, you know, over a month before that's going to happen. And when you're putting them in an environment and doing all the cuttings, that takes more time. And I have enough jobs around here to be doing all the time. So this is one of the ways of creating more rooted structures by laying the vines in the soil, an, an additional soilless mixture um, uh, flat, and then adding soil on top of it once the leaves have uprighted as well. And uh, so that's where we're at so far. I have uh, ordered some uh, lace wings uh, to help as beneficial uh, uh, pests, uh, beneficial insects to help with the pests that we're going to get every spring uh, as we start growing all of these, um, the slips and I take in doing all the transplants. I, I'm bringing in some of the uh, the pests that we don't want here as well. So some lace wigs will be coming in shortly. Hopefully they'll be coming in in the next couple of days, some eggs. 
and we'll be releasing them in the work area here to help with all of the seedlings that we've got going on at this point. So I just wanted to give you a brief update on the sweet potatoes. Uh, so we're not ready to do the cuttings yet because I want to not spend so much time doing work that potentially isn't necessary. I can enhance more opportunity for more root development and growth by just laying another tray right alongside of it, watering these trays, and just adding more soilless mixture on top of it as well. So if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Give us a thumbs up if you think this video was of value. And certainly, folks, have a great day. Bye-bye now.